Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12 series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums for class 12, today we will be covering MCQs of chapter 11 magnetic materials. Let us check out the first MCQ. Intensity of magnetic field of the earth at the point inside a hollow iron box is less than that outside, more than that outside, same as outside or zero. So whenever we have a magnetic field in air, then in that case, if we place iron box, maybe of a spherical shape and this iron box is hollow, then these magnetic lines of force, they tend to flow through the surface of this iron box. Now this happens because permeability of the soft iron is very high compared to air. Therefore, this magnetic lines of force flows through this iron box and very small amount of magnetic field is able to reach inside and therefore the correct option is less than that of outside. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. Soft iron is used to make the core of transformer because of its these are the options and the correct option is option A because of low coercivity and low retentivity. So let us check out the next time. Which of the following statement is correct for diamagnetic materials? Mu R less than 1. Magnetic susceptibility is negative and low. It does not depend on temperature or all of the above. Now for di diamagnetic material, the relative permeability is less than 1. It does not show shows the property of magnetism. Now because of this magnetic susceptibility which is given by the formula mu r minus 1 it becomes negative since this is less than 1 and its value is low so we have option 1 is correct 2 is correct and this magnetic susceptibility is almost independent of the temperature as well so the correct option is option D all of the above let us check out the next MCQ a rectangular magnet suspended freely has a period of oscillation equal to t. Now it is broken into two equal halves, each having half of the original length. And one piece is made to oscillate freely. Its period of oscillation is t prime. The ratio of t dash by t is. Let us see the period of oscillation. This is equal to 2 pi root of i moment of inertia divided by m into b. m is magnetic moment and b is the field. Now since the magnet is broken down into two halves, moment of inertia and magnetic moment will change. Moment of inertia was ML square by 12 where capital L is length of the magnet. The new magnetic moment of inertia will be half of the mass, half of the length ka whole square divided by 12. Now we can take this 1 by 2 of the mass outside and uh, L by 2 ka square will be 1 by 4 and then we are left with ML square by 12. So new moment of inertia is equal to one eighth of the old one. Now let us talk about the magnetic moment M which is given by the pole strength into the length of the magnet. Now in this case the pole strength is not changing therefore for the new magnetic moment will have same pole strength but the length is divided by two. So we can say that the new magnetic moment is the half of the previous one. Now let us take the ratio over here of t prime by t. We will have 2 pi root of i prime by m prime b divided by 2 pi i by m b. Now b is the magnetic field which is constant and 2 pi are constant. We will cancel them out. So we will have t dash by t is equal to root of i dash upon i and root of m upon m dash. i dash can be written as 1 by 8 i and m dash can be written as m by 2. So what we are left with is 2 by 8 which is equal to root of 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2. So we got the ratio of t prime by t is equal to 1 by 2. The correct option over here is option b. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. A magnetizing field of 360 ampere meter produces a magnetic flux density of 0.6 tesla in a ferromagnetic material what is its permeability in tesla meter per ampere these are the options 
the formula that we have is b is equal to mu h b is the magnetic flux density that is given as 0.6 mu is the permeability of the medium that we have to find h is the magnetizing field which is given as 360 so we can write mu is equal to 0.6 upon 360 or we can write this as 6 upon 3600 let us divide this what we get 6 6 and 2 zeros so we got mu ka value as 1 upon 600 so the correct option is option C hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.